and news. A legal expert tells Team 10 the Border Patrol agent behind a deadly shooting that created a firestorm may have broken federal law months before he killed a mother of five. That same legal expert says the agent's social media posts could have gotten him fired. Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker uncovered this new information for us. Mitch? Guys, Agent Justin Tackett is already under federal investigation for the shooting death of a U.S. citizen in late September. And now Team 10 is asking if some of his politically charged Facebook posts were appropriate. These screen grabs are from the Facebook page of Border Patrol agent Justin Tackett. Team 10 obtained these shots before Tackett took down his Facebook page days after he killed Monique Tachikin. Tackett likes political causes, such as stand with Arizona against illegal immigration. He also shares his thoughts about California's financial troubles, blaming it on the entitlements and benefits to those who are not citizens of this country. Tackett likes Mitt Romney in a group called I Will Not Vote for Obama in 2012. He shows his support for politicians like former presidential candidates Herman Cain and Rick Santorum. Well, it's very troubling. Um, it, it's very likely that this is a violation of the Hatch Act. Attorney Michael Crowley has tried federal cases for 30 years. He currently teaches classes on federal law at California Western and Thomas Jefferson Schools of Law. Is it appropriate for a Border Patrol agent to be making comments that are directly about immigrants? Simply said, no. Crowley says Tackett's posts seem to violate the Hatch Act, which is designed to prevent political activities by certain federal employees, including Customs and Border Protection officials. The act says in part those employees may not use any email account or social media to distribute, send, or forward content that advocates for or against a partisan political party, candidate for partisan political office, or partisan political group. Months after the Facebook posts, Tackett shot and killed Monique Tachikin in Chula Vista. He claims it was in self-defense. Should he have lost his job, do you think, well, before Howard, the shooting ever happened? I, you know, one of the problems with the Hatch Act, of course, is enforcement. Team 10 contacted the U.S. Office of Special Counsel, that is the independent federal investigative agency in charge of looking into Hatch Act violations. The agency's lead attorney would not comment on the Tackett case specifically, but said federal employees are free to post opinions, but that those opinions should not mingle personal and professional life or solicit donations. Team 10 found while Tackett's posts don't ask for donations directly, some of his posts link to sites that do. Now, Tackett claims the shooting in Chula Vista was self-defense. He did not return calls for comment about his Facebook page. A Customs and Border Protection spokesman said the agency was not aware of the Facebook posts. So now you've made the agency aware of the posts. Is yes. the government now going to investigate? It doesn't look like it. The Office uh, of Special Counsel, who investigates uh, Hatch Act violations, told us that they only do that if a complaint is filed and they didn't qualify what we asked about as a complaint. At, at 7, we're actually going to take a look at what the U.S. Supreme Court says about the Hatch Act, so make sure to watch for that. Okay, thank you, Mitch. Thanks, yeah. Mitch.